African Affairs at the U.S. Department of State. Good evening. Uh, on behalf of the, of the Africa Bureau at the U.S. Department of State, I'd like to welcome you to this evening of Center Stage at the Kennedy Center and to Jagwa Music. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank our sponsors here, our partners at the Kennedy Center for hosting us, the Doris Duke Foundation for Islamic Art for its support, and the many communities around the United States who will welcome Jagwa in the weeks ahead. I would also like to thank the New, Ze uh, sorry, the New England Foundation for the Arts and Lisa Booth Management for partnering with us to produce another successful season at Center Stage. Center Stage is an ambitious cultural diplomacy initiative of the U.S. Department of State, and it helps to bring remarkable performing artists to the United States to create bonds between our countries, both on stage and off stage and online. Since the beginning of the program four years ago, Center Stage has hosted more than 100 artists from seven countries. They visited 70 communities in 32 states plus the district. They've conducted more than 500 community and educational and artist to artist activities, and they've engaged millions online around the globe through social media. As Secretary Kerry has said, we honor artists because of the mirror they hold up to who we are and what we hope to be, and because they have the ability to astonish and to surprise, to inspire and to make us think in new and hopefully liberating ways. Art can be a transformational force across the globe. Tonight, we will hear from Jagwa Music, who hail from the streets of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Their music is very fast-paced, uh, celebratory, and a dance style called Mshiriku. You take traditional drums, you take makeshift percussion, you wire miniature keyboards through megaphones using car batteries, you add some lyrical commentary, you deliver it at an incredibly breakneck speed, and you have Mshiriku, which is Dar es Salaam's wildly original street music. Their lyrics touch on issues like unemployment and AIDS and drugs, and Jagwa captures those conversations and stories of their Dar es Salaam community. They offer up a positive way of expression for youth on the streets, and they provide a release from everyday struggles to their music. I'm sure you'll be pulled from your seats by the energy and infectious rhythms of Jagwa tonight, so please join me in welcoming Jagwa Music. What? 
Don't go. 
Why ain't I what you say, my 
so baka mwisho hakuna matata wosh rasana kama kuvinda na kustamina eta wala kucha 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 niwena Thank you. We love you. We love you. Thank you very much. My name is Kwame, and I'm the group tour manager and translator. Jaguar music all the way from Dar es Salaam. Jaguar, please. And maybe I can quickly make uh, an introduction of the musicians. The first percussionist, 
playing sticks and old sitting stool is Mze Sho. And to my left, our most beautiful lady and amazing dancer, Deborah Dixon. And here comes our lead energetic percussionist, <laughs> Abdallah Mohammed Nasser, TP. And our keyboardist, Mateo, aka Dongo. And the second percussionist, Mwini Luombo. Oh, Dogo Mwini. And here comes our amazing singer, Jackson Eluta Kazimoto, aka Jackie Simela. Moto Moto. Thank you. Well, uh, on behalf of Jaguar Music, I would like to say, as you say in Swahili, Asante Sana, meaning thank you very much to U.S. Uh, Department of State, uh, Center Stage, and our host here tonight, the Kenneth Center, for actually giving us this opportunity. It's our first time in the U.S., and we are so excited and looking forward to the rest of our tour. Just to let you know that we have our CDs at the back. So if you feel that you want to take a souvenir, please welcome. Once again, Asante Sana. We love you. <laughs> 